Hey guys, recently I've been fighting some pests in my garden. I'm Kimmick Cactus Rush. I'm killing bugs today and I hope you'll hang out. Okay guys, I'm going to start with the worst bug first. These are two agaves, a mountain agave and a whale's tongue agave that I've had for several years. Um, I started noticing on the whale's tongue first that the lower leaves kept turning brown and dying and that the leaves had this weird kind of bumpy texture to them. If y'all can see that, that's not normal. Then I began to notice the same thing happening on this mountain agave. I looked many times, I never saw any sign of pests. I sprayed them with some neem oil, I sprayed them with some insecticidal soap, nothing really seemed to help. So in frustration, I finally pulled them out of the soil. Once I had them out of the soil, both of them had very obvious places at the base that was damp and rotting and it had a real bad smell to it. I didn't really know what was going on still, so I had to do a little bit of research. What I learned is that this kind of damage is caused by the agave snout weevil. I've heard of this bug, but I really just didn't know very much about it. This is a really bad bug. It's causing major damage to agaves grown commercially for tequila and agave nectar, and it's actually listed on the top 100 worst global invasive species list. It's moved into our area. I was reading that it is in Austin and now clearly it's here in Wimberley, Texas. The only way to stop this beetle is to treat it systemically. You have to water it in and the idea is that the agave absorbs the pesticide and when the beetles munch on it, they die when they eat the pesticide in the agave. It's too late for these guys. They are too far gone, unfortunately. And I'm a little bit worried that this beetle may have already moved into some of my other agaves. I don't see any signs of them yet, but by the time I do, it'll be too late. So I will be treating all of my agaves with a systemic insecticide. I'll water it in several times, and that should kill any lingering beetles that may have made their way into any of my other agaves. Okay guys, next up is scale, scale insects. Um, they attach themselves to the plant and suck out the juices. This is an example here, I'm pointing with my toothbrush. Um, this one is really badly infested. I just noticed it a few days ago, it was turned the other way and it was mixed in with some other stuff. So I hadn't noticed that this had happened, but it's a great example. I'm going to be spraying this with straight 90% alcohol. It will get the waxy coating off of the scale and suffocate them. If it's not real bad, I don't scrub it. Usually I just spray the alcohol. But today, because this guy got away from me and I'm worried about this guy, I'm going to gently clean some of this off as much as I can get to. It looks like in addition I might have some spider mites, a few this will do the trick on them as well. This is super simple to do. Then I'm going to hose it off real good. And I won't be able to get down into all these nooks and crannies, but I'll do my best. I'm not gonna tear it up in any way. And any area that I'll just make sure is sprayed real good with the alcohol. And then once that's all dried, I'll follow it up with some neem oil. And I bet you this guy's gonna be just fine. Okay, next up is yucca plant bugs. Now this is actually not a yucca, this is an agave. Um, these bugs typically don't like these softer leaves, but I did have some on this agave. And let me show you if I can get up and get a good shot. Let's see. Yes, these are the bite marks, those specks. Similar to other cactus bugs, they bite and suck out the juice. Fortunately, I don't have any to show you today. Um, I believe that I have eradicated them from this plant, but, but I do still have some scarring going on here. All right, this is a cactus coriad bug, prickly pear cactus bugs. They will decimate a prickly pear. You can see all the damage, um, this weeping, 
and these speckles. These are all caused by these bugs. They are not hard to kill. You just have to stay really on top of it because they will destroy a cactus before you even realize that they're there. They're real red when they're nymphs and then they turn this greenish color. And by the time they're fully mature, they are kind of a purplish brown color. This one's just about full size though. This is probably the bug that I fight most often in my cactus and succulent garden. And he's about to die. Here is another example of a cactus worried bug and some of the damage. I'm glad you guys are joining today. Please take a minute to subscribe and hit your thumbs up button if you're enjoying this content. Peace out and I'll see you guys again soon.